Jack Dorsey going all in on Bitcoin, revealing in a podcast interview that he's maxing out the $10,000 weekly spending limit on Bitcoin established for Square Cash, Square's Cash App. The Twitter and Square CEO also predicting a, quote, massive acceleration for the cryptocurrency. This as Bitcoin was up 11 percent in February, its first monthly gain since July. It's attempting to climb back to 4,000. So Beeks. Could this be a turning point? I think it, I think we're pretty close. I think we're looking at the thaw here, right? It's the crypto thaw. We had the crypto winter. When you look under the hood of what's going on with crypto, we're actually seeing some improving fundamentals. And the one stat I will give you, if you look at the number of addresses that have been created on the Bitcoin network, that's up about 20% from the January lows. It's at highs at the levels that we saw in spring of 2018 when Bitcoin was well above 6,000. So fundamentally, you're starting to see improvement. You're also starting to see some institutional interest. Some high profile investors, endowments have been dipping their toe into the space. Add in that, you're thinking, talking about Fidelity coming out with custody this week. And Jack, you know, he's, he understands the payment network. And there's a part of the Bitcoin network called the Lightning Network that he has said it's only a matter of time, not if, but when that Lightning Network comes to the Square app, that Lightning Network allows you to transact very easily at stores, and that, again, could be another catalyst for and, it. And I'll add one more. The charts quietly start to get a little bit better here, too. And I think from a contrarian standpoint, the amount of lost interest on Bitcoin is interesting on the long side. You know, you made a low uh, in November, December. You made a higher low in January, February. If you can start to break this out above 4,000, you're talking about maybe 5,500. So I think there is some money to be made here. It's quietly active. Have better. you seen the inverse relationship between gold and Bitcoin? Because yeah, when you start telling. to look at it now, gold was ripping. Bitcoin was, was off a cliff. And it, 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 you need the paddles, the life paddles on Bitcoin. And now when you start to see it rear its head in a good way for BK, and when you start to see it rise above, gold seems to be turning a corner to the downside. Mm -hmm. BK, is JPM coin good or bad for Bitcoin's price? Uh, for the price, it's indifferent. I mean, it, it's a great signal because you have Jamie Dimon, icon of banking, who did not like Bitcoin, is now dipping his toe in. Now, they are completely two different products, but general public will not know that. So signaling effect, fantastic. It's not going to displace Bitcoin whatsoever. Bad for Ripple? Excellent. Uh, Excuse me. You know, I mean, I don't think so. Not quite yet, because J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan Corner, whatever it is, is going to be just used within J.P. Morgan Ripples, used within every bank.